When it comes to India's largest rocket, LVM-3 or launch vehicle Mark 3, ISRO generally does one launch per year or at max two launches per year. But now ISRO is doing three launches of LVM-3 in a span of eight months. To tell us how this is possible and how ISRO is executing missions at such high frequency, we are joined by the director of Satish Dhawan Space Centre, India Spaceport, Sri Rajarajan. Sir, kindly tell us, how is it that you cut down the time to assemble and integrate and make ready the LVM-3 for launch? <coughs> this is all... Basically, basically the planning. When the pandemic came, we are stuck with uh, how to go about this work. So we made utilize the technology and this some innovations we have got in. Mainly, like we do the remote sensing to the satellites under on our Earth wing observation, we observed that all the systems parameters while it is being handled can be remotely monitored, and the concerned people can be within their office, sit there and give the directions so that cut down on the travel time, uh, meetings, all those things and so that real-time decisions are taken and work and processed. And also, we worked out with the available facilities, infrastructure that has been put in this Shah, we have worked out the parallel activities. So the preparation of many stages and the solid motors are all prepared beforehand and made ready. And once the decision is done that we will do a launch, we, the preparatory times all have been already carried out. So that has reduced the time. So we are now trying to reduce that uh, launch campaign. That's what we call it. That is making the vehicle ready and through the launch to cut down at least by 30 to 40 percent of time. So earlier, how long did it take to assemble an LVM-3 and now how long are you taking to get the vehicle ready? Initially, if you leave the development vehicle aside and looking at the work study on this and we thought it will be around 100 to 105 days. Now, we have decided the occupancy time, that is the restricted time of a launch pad or the assembly building should be limited to maximum 60 days. So, according to that, we are working. Same 105 days of work, we know that it has to be done, but that has been compressed into a, a calendar period of 60 to 75 days. Sir, uh, multi-domain experts work here to ensure that a launch uh, goes flawlessly. Tell us more about the kind of expertise you have here and how all of them work together as a team. Yeah. Basically, if you look that the vehicle is being configured in many of the lead centers like VSSC and the stages comes from industries and we make the solid motors at SD But at the same time, when you look at the range, it is not only the assembly building and the launch pad, the supporting systems, the, ra the tracking radars, the real-time systems, the specialist display system and the networking. Everything on work in a synchronized way. And also we should have a very good update on the weather. So we should have, we have a very good uh, weather monitoring system, including the cloud, the electric charge field, so that vehicle can be assembled, can be moved to the launch pad, which just gets exposed to the environment for the last seven days, so that the, the vehicle is safe and the weather is to be predicted. So all the system has to work in a synchronized manner. So if you can, this is a island of this much area, taking care of the safety aspects. So the range safety, the, the, the place where you are launching, that location for the emergency preparedness situations, and the fuel servicing, the quality of the fuel, all assembly procedures, we call it a standard operating procedure. We have a very good safety systems in place, along with the safety protocols we put in place along with that QC persons of how to do this work. Everything works in a synchronized manner. And all the mission computers, all are networked in real time across the centers and we provide the data. Sir, we have to keep in mind that this is a place where the work from all centers comes to fruition in the final phase. So tell us about the kind of intense testing that happens to ensure that a mission is, uh, you know, 100% success. Basically, a lot of tests which carries out in the solid motors areas and this one is getting tested here and some other tests are carried out in the, in the other centers. Once it comes for the final checks, we have called integrated checks of each system at subsystem level, at the system level and at the stage level. We have an integrated checks, both mechanical and electrical. Then we look at the feedback and the quality of the health, quality and the health of the system. Then it is getting assembled. And each after each assembly, also we have a checkout. Checks are being done continuously. So th that way we give confidence that vehicle as well as the spacecraft, everything is ready. Then parallelly at the ground system, all the fields, 
everything proponents has been looked at and the check of the health and the purity levels everything cross checked and made ready because the system has to service at a cryogenic temperature and other temperature so the system also is tested and evaluated and kept ready like any fuel servicing center sir uh in recent months, we have seen that uh, Satish Dhawan Space Centre has managed to launch all four operational vehicles of ISRO in a very short span of time. So, how is it that you are carrying this out and there is also a very busy year that lay ahead for you? It is only again a planning. See, all the people, concerned people, all across the centres sit down. How do we go about this? It is not just only a one centre working or anything. It is everybody's a teamwork. So, the designers, from VSSC and LPSC and the checkout people from various centers and the on the field people at the SDSHR and the residence teams of all the people put together. How do we send the data? How do we make it a real-time decision making? All those things have been worked out. So what we say is today we have the assembly facilities each year marked so that it can carry multiple launching uh, assembly of the vehicles can be carried out. So today if you see we are actually assembling three vehicles at a time in this place. And uh, all is possible because the uh, people are distributed, the technology has been made use of, so the data of the assemblies are sent back in real time and get back the feedback so that work is not held up. So this system has been brought in because we have already envisaged that along with the operational vehicles, the startups, those all, they also will come, their, their work also has to be taken up, along with that Gaganyan works also, the testing and related activities. Everything has to go in synchronous manner. We cannot say the time of doing only one at a time has go gone. Now we have to cater to all the people, all the stakeholders in India. So that has been already worked out and that is what we are now seeing today. That was the director of Satish Dhawan Space Center telling us about how ISRO has managed to make use of its available resources, data and modern communication technologies and real-time monitoring techniques to ensure that multiple vehicle activities and launch-related activities can be carried out here. From Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota, Siddharth MP, Vyond, World is One.